Hey Church Butler friends, this is Kenny Jang with another episode of the Lunch and Learn. Today we're going to hop over to the churchcommunications.com blog because I found a great article that Katie Allred wrote recently. It's called Seven Strategies That Will Change Your Social Media Game. And after reviewing some of the strategies that Katie goes through, I wanted to highlight just a couple of them for you today as a reminder. We're at the start of a new year and this is a great time to put down good habits and good routines. And so hopefully this will spur some creativity and some conversation on your team and that maybe you'll pick one or two of these strategies and put them into action for your um, for your church. So first one, let's get right to it, is let's get a transcript of that sermon. And I love what Katie's trying to say here. There's a couple of ideas. One is you can post the sermon transcript just as is beneath your video uh, on your YouTube description, on your blog page, and that alone is going to help your SEO. Right out of the bat, it's a no-brainer. Um, I love Rev.com. Uh, it's a great resource to use. If you want a uh, $10 voucher to try out, no minimum, you can go to rev.butler.church, and there's a coupon that they've arranged for us to give to you. Rev.butler.church for your first time um, usage of that transcription service to see what it's like. It's amazing. Um, the second idea she has is posting your sermon transcript uh, for the deaf community. Uh, the fact that accessibility is starting to become an issue. Google is going to reward you for things like that. And it just is something that we should start to do from a diversity and inclusion standpoint. Um, I love that she's thinking about other communities that would be able to take advantage of a resource like this that's just so easy to put out there. Third idea is getting a sermon transcript and, and help you easily create social media, right? Those quote cards, as we call them, those little snippets of quotes that you pull from the sermon and put on top of an image or a photo of uh, the worship service or the pastor preaching it. Um, those are things that you can easily do to uh, do on a weekly basis, on a routine basis, that's going to help you fuel engagement on your church media uh, channels. Or One of the things that we say in our seven-layer chips and dip um, evergreen calendar that we share here at Church Butler is that sermon sound bites is something that you should be doing at least one of the days of the week. Um, and so, again, if you want to learn more about the chips and dip framework, how to build a foundational seven-layer um, editorial calendar for your social media channels, go to butler.church slash chips and dip, and you can get my 20-minute video teaching there on that. Um, second one's a no-brainer. Let's plan out the week. Uh, she talks about um, work, no, plan the work and then work the plan, right? Plan the work and work the plan. She has a seven-day sample schedule, very much like the chips and dip thing that you're going to see over at butler.church forward slash chips and dip. Um, but just having a simple, basic plan that you can adhere to week in, week out is going to be very helpful because you can be strategic with that plan of what type of content you're going to put out there. Um, as we go down the list, um, asking questions. Uh, there are tons of different types of questions that you're going to ask your community and that will elicit some sort of response, whether it be direct and specific or timely event related or yes, no surveys or something about their experience for uh, that they've gone through at the church, whether it be Sunday worship service, a, a program, a Bible study, um, some sort of activity from the church. So those are things that you can always, always get to and put out there and experiment, see how the, um, the community is engaging. And remember, your questions don't have to be about Jesus and the church and God religiously. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to be religious about it. Um, I would ask other fun, life-oriented stuff. If you're going to um, the season where Super Bowl is coming up, um, we have a engagement post in our social media library that has um, a whole circle of different types of um, appetizers or chips and dips, but chips basically, right? Snacks. And it asks, you know, which is the best Super Bowl snack for you? 
tag yourself or tag a friend um, and getting that type of response back is a lot of fun usually. Uh, number five is I think actually should be number one because if you've been listening to me at all on this channel or others, you'll hear me saying the phrase, um, it's like in fashion, right? Uh, what's the new black this year when you go into the runways? Uh, what is in fashion? What's the basic? What's the universal? What's going to work no matter what? And here is video is the new black. If you're not working with video, if you're not producing video, if you're not publishing video in 2019, you're going to be left behind. I'm sorry to say um, it might be um, something that you don't want to hear. But video, as she says, almost always outperforms anything else on social media. Now, you should upload these videos natively if possible. And that it also means that if you have video, you should upload it directly to Facebook rather than upload it to YouTube um, and sharing it on, on a link on Facebook, right? That's what native means. Upload it directly to the network that you're actually sharing it with. Um, so those are just the, some of the ideas in this post that she uh, writes seven strategies that will change your game uh, on social media. You can look it up on the Church Communications blog at churchcommunications.com. I'd love to hear what other strategies, what are the things that are routine that you can put into your workflow as a church communicator regarding social media content that is gonna work, that's gonna effectively lift engagement, lift visibility, awareness, um, things that you have been finding to be effective. I'd love to hear that. Either direct message me, reach out to me, or leave it as a comment below. Love hearing all the tactics that you guys are learning and putting into action on the local level. I'm Kenny Jang. Thanks for listening to today's Lunch and Learn. Remember, check out the Church Communication blog and also check out our blog at www.butler.church/blog.